everybody new world shogun here i am your host and welcome to another commentary video guess what time it is that's right it's another episode of story time this is episode number five now before i get into the story where i talk about an event that has happened during my youth i like to talk about what you are watching this is some gotham city imposters i will go over the loadout for you that i am using for this match for my primary weapon i'm using the gatekeeper smg my secondary weapon is the dawn patrol assault rifle both have the suppressor attachments and are dressed with the skull camos. For my gadgets, I'm using the motion sensor and the ninja smoke bombs. Motion sensors, I shouldn't have to explain, but the ninja smoke bombs gives you the ability to cloak into invisibility. It's a great combination with the motion sensors. I recommend using it if you do pick up this game or have played it. The game comes with perks, but they're called fun facts. And the fun fact one I'm using is called the wallflower. The wallflower is similar to the perks ghost or cold-blooded that you find in call of duty so you should have some similarities in that and the second fun fact that i'm using is called marksman and if you remember call of duty used to have stopping power marksman is the same as stopping power it gives you a little extra damage to your weapons because since i'm using suppressors on my guns it reduces the damage that my guns do but the marksman brings those weapons back up to normal damage as if i wasn't using suppressors okay now the game comes with kill streaks, and the kill streaks are called rampages. Now you get to pick one rampage. The rampage that I'm using is called the Eagle Eye. The Eagle Eye is similar to the Blackbird or the VSAT that you find in the Black Black Ops games for Call of Duty. It shows your enemy's location and the direction they're facing on the minimap. But the game also comes with this thing called the Psych Profile. Now Psych Profiles give you bonuses and penalties for your characters that you get after each match that you play. Now I use the narcissistic profile. That gives me the bonus to custom coins, which is something that you can use to purchase costumes for your characters. But it also gives me the penalty to my XP, which is uh, something that they give me for revives and playing objectives and using support actions and things like that. So I get a penalty to my experience points. But since I play deathmatch a lot, I really don't have too much penalties against me for objective gameplay so those that's that's pretty much the loadout I am using for you right now now I'm gonna get into why you were here and that's episode number five of story time now I'll try to make this as quickly as possible it's a two-part two-part story back in the day when I was a kid if you remember my last episode of story time I talked about a train and some train tracks that ran behind my house this kind of has something to do with it. I used to hang out with a kid named Chris. He was my best friend. We lived in the same building together. I lived on one side of the building. He lived on the other. He had a friend named John. Now, John wasn't really a friend of mine. He was more like an, an association through friendship, okay? Whenever I hung out with Chris, John would be around. But I didn't hang out with John unless Chris was there. So John wasn't really my friend. But we would hang out often. So, the train tracks that ran behind my house, I'm sure you guys have done this as children. You walk along the, the, the train rail and you pretend to balance on it and you're pretending that you are going to try to walk as far as possible without falling off. Now, you would pr probably pretend that there was a lava pit below you or there was a pit of alligators or whatever. And if you fell off, you died and you had to start over. And, you just tried to see how far you could balance yourself on the rail. Well, we did this often, you know, if we ever walked along the tracks to whatever destinations we, we would go, because that's the, what we would do, we'd just walk the tracks. And uh, so we're balancing on these rails. Now, I got my friend Chris ahead of me, and he's balancing on one rail. I got John behind me, he's balancing on a rail. Now, I am not balancing on one. What I decided to do this day was I decided to balance myself on both rails by putting one foot on on each rail and I'm kind of like doing a split kind of wobbling back and forth as I walk now John being not my friend decided that he was going to be funny and soccer kick me right in the nuts while I'm doing this not cool right I mean this is something that you just do not do to friends unless you're just kind of joking around you know you do the old bag tag with your friends or whatever but you just don't full-on soccer kick your friends in the balls that's just wrong I would never do it to my friends 
But apparently this kid did it to me. Obviously shows that he's not my friend. So I'm laying there holding my nuts. And I'm like, from that day forward, I am not going to hang out with this kid anymore. Just not going to do it. He's not my friend. Why should I hang out with him? If he's just going to kick me in the balls like that, there's no point, right? Yeah, it's funny now that I think about it, but back then it wasn't so funny. So, as karma has it, I'm going to fast forward to my senior year in high school. Now, I'm, I'm walking up the staircase to go to my next class. Now, the hallways to where the classrooms are are separated from the, from the staircases by glass doors. Uh, you probably have seen these when you're in school. So I'm heading to my next class on the third floor, walking up the stairs, when I hear this big crash. And I see John get thrown through this glass door, and he lands in front of me, in, uh, in front of all the other kids. Apparently he gets into a fight with this kid. I don't remember who it was that he got into a fight with, but whoever he did get into a fight with grabbed him and shoved him through the glass door backwards. He shatters through it, lands in front of me in a heap. Now being the prick that I am, <laughs> I, re I look down at him, I point at him, I start laughing, and I step over him to go to my next class. And as I walk past him, I go, so how's the view of my nuts from down there? And I continue walking. So as it is, karma's a bitch, kicks you in the nuts right back. I thought that was funny. Now I, th I think I got a little extra time. I can tell you a little bit of another part that happened to me in high school. I'm in gym class. I'm playing this thing called rag ball. It's kind of like uh, wiffle ball, but you're playing indoors and you got a little rag and you're playing with a wiffle ball bat. Now as it is in high school, you pick your friends. Uh, the popular kids pick the popular kids and the outcast pick the outcast. Well, I'm on the outcast side. So I'm up to bat and I hit the rag ball and I run the first. But unfortunately, I'm thrown out. Now the girl that that was playing at first, she's playing the first baseman position. She's like being all snotty with me. She's like, eh, heh, 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 you're out, you suck, blah, blah, blah. So being the prick that I am, <laughs> I grabbed her by the hair, I ripped her down, and I fucking farted right in her face, let her go, and I said, now you're out, bitch. My gym teacher didn't particularly like that, sent me to the office. Some of the teammates that she had on her team didn't particularly like that, wanted to kick my ass after school, but hey. That's the way it is. I'm a prick. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'm New World Shogun. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Thanks for watching. I've been your host. And remember this. PTFO or die trying. Peace.